Melissa Lee is the anchor of CNBC's Fast Money and joins us now. Hi, Melissa. Good morning. Good morning. First, let's just take a step back because I'm sure there are folks out there saying, wait, inflation is a problem. So the Fed just made other things more expensive. Explain <laughs> how raising the prices sure. via interest rates hopefully cools down the economy and tamps down the inflation problem. Think about it as putting a little bit of grit into the wheels of the economy. You want to slow things down just enough to slow demand down and then bring prices down. What the Fed wants to achieve is what's called price stability. Think about a dollar that you have today. People and businesses need to know what that dollar will buy in the future. If you have no idea, if you think prices are going to be 35% higher in a year, which is what exactly what we saw with energy prices, they're up 35% in one year, then you have no idea. You can't make decisions. So that is paralyzing to the economy. So it's a real trade-off. So if people continue to have high demand and are continually willing to pay these higher prices, that shoots inflation up. So the Fed is trying to make things more expensive so people stop spending, essentially? Exactly. So it, it slows down the cost of money. So if you can't borrow as much money, you might not buy that house. It cools the housing market down. If you, if you have to pay a higher rate on your credit card, you might not make that purchase. And that slows things down just enough. The hope is, is that the economy going into this tightening cycle, as it's known, is strong enough that we have low unemployment right now. Balance sheets, when it comes to people, individuals and businesses, they are strong. We saved during the pandemic. So we're in a very good place to weather this. If you're going to do it. But I mean, there, as Tom just reported, it's a sledgehammer. This is a very blunt tool. It is not surgical. So the fear is you raise these interest rates. Do you crash the economy into recession? There are real concerns, right, that there is going to be a recession or that a lot of the components of inflation the Fed has no control over. Russia, Ukraine made energy prices even worse, food prices even worse. And so we might be in a situation scenario where you have slower growth and also still high inflation. That's known as stagflation, another terrible scenario for the economy. I know. I don't like when you throw those 80s economic terms at me. Nobody wants those. But thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it. Yeah. Nice to have you here with us. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.